सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी विल सी दिस नेम रिएक्शन कोरे हाउस सिंथेसिस दिस कोरे हाउस सिंथेसिस इज एक्चुअली यूज फॉर द प्रिपेयरिंग सिमेट्रिकल एंड अनसिमेट्रिकल अल्केन्स दिस मीन्स दैट दो अल्केन्स विच हैव इवेन एन ओड नंबर ऑफ कार्बन्स यूजिंग गिलमांस रीजन दैट इज द डाई अल्काइल क्यू प्लस लिथियम सो लिथियम और डायल्कल क्यूबरेट सो दिस इज द कंपाउंड किलमास जिन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वी कैन प्रिपेयर दिस सिमेट्रिकल एंड अनसिमेट्रिकल अल्केन इन दिस द इंडायरेक्ट कपलिंग ऑफ दिस टू सेम और डिफरेंट अल्काइल ग्रुप्स यू कैन टेक द सेम और डिफरेंट अल्काइल ग्रुप्स यूजिंग लिथियम मेटल्स और क्यू प्लस आयोडाइड इज कॉल्ड एज द कोरे हाउस सिंथेसिस सो लाइक दिस इज रिएक्शन दिस अल्काइलाइट दिस अगेन अनदर अल्काइलाइट कैन बी सेम और डिफरेंट सो बाई यूजिंग सेवरल स्टेप्स so this r this r will combine to form a alkene so we can get uh, odd number of alkene also odd number of carbon or even number of carbon so it follows the nucleophilic substitution mechanism that is sn2 so let us see how the mechanism follows the how to make gilman's reagent first is that this reagent is very important in the kore house synthesis so alkali acid is reacting with the lithium metals in presence of ether so uh, this will combine to give you r li okay and again if you take the two moles of rli in cux so the value of x should not be uh, fluorine it can be chlorine bromine iodine in case of chlorine it will give you the reaction will be violent so chlorine is avoided only taken cl br i so what will happen this uh, rli in pc it will convert into r2 ci li so this is the lithium dialkyl cuprate and lithium halide So this is only useful reaction during this Kore Haus synthesis. So this will react with the uh, this alkali halide. And the one important feature of this alkali halide is this R dash uh, attaching with the halogen should be aliphatic, aromatic, or alicyclic. And in aliphatic, it should be primary, secondary, but not tertiary, because tertiary becomes your very bulky groups. And presence of this tertiary uh, carbon, so the reactions that is SN two may not be possible. so it should difficult to react with the gilmans to uh, break this rn because of this bulky group so bond will not be broken so r will attack with the r dash in presence of ether this will be r r dash and you get r cu plus lix so this is the basically mechanism to get the symmetrical or unsymmetrical alkene let us see some examples like this is the methium uh, methyl bromide in presence of lithium so methyl halide uh, methyl lithium methyl and again cuy will get the gilmans gilmans reagent again this gilmans reaction is reacting with the this aliphatic aromatic or alicyclic halide so this is aliphatic halide cst cstbr so sn2 reaction so this whole group the whole group will attack on the this group so out of this uh, two methyl one methyl will attach with the uh, this uh, primary carbon and br will go out so we will get this product similarly uh, it is very clear one from this side two from this side then we can count the number of carbon so here we will get a propane three carbon similarly if you take the dimethyl cuprate halide so in presence of diether and this compound definitely one methyl will attack on this one iodine will go out so you will get this compound again same if it is your uh, in this uh, form that is the cycloalkene So cycloalkene again one methyl will attach with the carbon S N two reaction take place and you will get this product. If you are using this one, so this whole will combine with this one and you will get the phenyl. You can say phenyl is a butane. So butane phenyl or phenyl butane is a product. Again you can see in this product. So this C S this C S two will one C S S will attack with the vinyl and under S N two reaction you will get the product butane. So these are the some examples. so we will take the some uh, big bulky big, uh, big bulky group of attached with the gilmans region so we can see this is the uh, branched alkyls attaching with the cucl so whole one of this uh, alkyl we attached with the cs3 you will get the this branched alkene that is the isopentene you have to keep remember if you want to make this product so you have to uh, make some arrangement in the gilmans region again if you take this one so definitely the whole group will be attack with the this one in this case uh, is special reaction because uh, there is a double bond with the second carbon so this methyl will attack with the this carbon because this is a very bulky group so this is very near to the methyl and uh, this first uh, this pi bond will when cl will go out this pi bond will shift this side and then this cs3 will attack on cs2 so this will form like this product so you can see very careful this is a secondary carbon 
first pi electron will shift to this one as soon as Cl will go out this pi bond will attack here and then CS3 will attack on this CS2 will giving this product isopentene so there is some different type of uh, mechanism in this special case now we will see some example prepare for uh, following compound using the Cori house synthesis so this is the reactions and maximum yield is possible when R dash has a less hindrance if R dash has a less hindrance then we will get the maximum product so in tertiary alkene if you use tertiary alkene some big bulk group then there will be less product so this example suppose this is the your uh, propane and uh, uh, R, uh, R if you are taking this one and R dash you are taking methyl or halide okay so you will get the maximum yield if you are taking R as a this one CS3 CUCL and R dash CS3 so this is secondary uh, alkane so out of this uh, this will give you maximum product this will give you less product so this is the basically mechanism when we can get maximum product when we can min product so out of this uh, both reactions in this uh, there is a minimum hindrance this is the maximum hindrance because it's secondary alkane attached with the primary carbon so this will give you maximum yield less yield so basis on this we can decide 3 methyl octane how to obtain 3 methyl octane so for 3 methyl octane we have different possibilities r can be this one r can be this one r can be this also this also r can be this also this also r can be this also this also so out of four possibilities for getting the 3 methyl octane so uh, our condition is that r less should be have a least hindrance so in this case you can see there is a least hindrance in only this carbon so this is only giving you best product and which can give a poor product which have more hindrance so in this we can see there is a more hindrance because it's a branched carbon so this will give you poor result this will give you best result similarly how to obtain this products so uh, if you take the uh, to get the best yield or maximum yield, if you take the R less should be CS3 and remaining will be this product, so we will get the maximum yield. Okay, or you can make uh, this also. Uh, if you are using uh, CS3, okay, uh, C, uh, CS3 and uh, this is CH and this is your CS2 whole, you can use uh, CUCL Li also. So again in this case, uh, this is a branched uh, isobutane, isobutyl. Use Li so again, this can also give you a uh, good product, okay. But out of this, this will be uh, best product, and uh, this will be followed by this one will give you lesser than this one because this is a uh, uh, this can be easily breakable, this will be difficult to breakable less than this because this is a tertiary carbon, quaternary carbon, not tertiary carbon, and this is your primary carbon. How to obtain this product? So, for this product, again, if you take R less is CS3i and this will be in Gilmas reagent so again you will get a maximum yield if you using reverse like a CS3, CS2, CLI so this will give you very poor yield so this is the poor yield and this is the maximum yield